Hello, I'm Dan Stone. I'm Professor of Modern History and Director of the Holocaust Research Institute at Royal Holloway. The Treaty of Versailles is often raised, I think, um, as one of the major causes of the rise of Nazism. And, of course, it's undeniably important. Uh, but my comeback uh, to this question is always, well, if the Versailles Treaty uh, was the prime cause of the rise of Nazism, why did Hitler come to power in 1933 and not in 1923? Uh, the Nazi party was not the only political movement in Germany after the Great War that was opposed to the Versailles Treaty. In fact, the vast majority of German politicians were opposed to uh, the Versailles Treaty. Uh, when the Weimar Republic was created, it was signed into being uh, by a majority of politicians who were opposed to the thing that they were signing. Uh, and so, um, whilst it's true that the, the Nazis made a lot of noise about Versailles, that their intention uh, to revoke the Versailles Treaty was clear from the start, that's not something that marked them out specifically in uh, the early 1920s and therefore there have to be other reasons I think for uh, explaining the rise of, of Nazism and whilst there are many uh, I think no explanation is complete without some consideration of uh, the Great Depression. It's really uh, the Depression from 1929-1930 that first of all uh, brings about the downfall of the Weimar Republic, which after all from 1930, not 1933, from 1930 was being run more or less on an authoritarian basis by presidential decree. And it's the depression uh, that turned people finally uh, against the mainstream parties and drove them to the extreme. So whilst Versailles is clearly uh, an important factor, one that uh, won the Nazis a lot of support. I don't think on its own it's the thing that distinguished them from uh, the other uh, radical parties in Weimar Germany.